Okay, you guys, I'm here to review the Divergent Blu-ray now. This is the Target exclusive, so you know, as with all Target exclusives, there is a bonus disc. I will be reviewing that as well. So let's get started with the movie itself, obviously. This is a 2014 release, and the movie looks good. I love it. I love how it looks. I love everything about the, the sound and the audio quality. That is top notch. It should be. So that's pretty good. You have your deleted scenes, of course, and the deleted scenes are pretty much good. I like them all so far. It doesn't really feel like nothing was needed to be added into the movie, so it looked like they deleted, like, took out the stuff that wasn't necessary, so that was also good. As for the special features, you got your, of course, behind the scenes of Divergent and stuff like that, and I like how it sets the tone for the Chicago thing, because I like how it shows you what's real and what's not. You'd be surprised at how much of the stuff is actually real, and the CGI is actually the second, second backdrop to the whole thing, so that was pretty good. You know what? Let's try this now. That looks a little bit better, so not so glary. But uh, yeah, so that was awesome. I love how they show what is CGI and uh, all the actors, and from the actors to the stunt people who did all their own stuff and whatnot and stuff like that. My only little gripe is not with the movie itself, it's with Miles Teller. Miles Teller, you're making a movie, okay? You have this awesome scene where you have to body surf. You don't like to get touched by people. I understand that. But for fuck's sake, you only live once, Miles. Body surf. Okay, it wasn't going to kill you. I would have fucking done it. Because body surfing in a movie that you're while you're making a movie, you don't really have to do anything but body surf. I'm in. <laughs> so, yeah. That was about it. Miles Teller's kind of kind of full of himself just a little bit still a good actor but uh, he kind of has an ego on him I can already tell he's not gonna go that many places well he is but I just don't care for his attitude much but anyway and uh, yeah pretty decent amount of good special features on there um, you do have the music video, of course. You have your trailers. You have your photo gallery and stuff like that. Um, there was one more that I'm missing. Was it? I don't know. I think that was it. As for the bonus disc, you kind of get a look into each of the characters from the movie. They do kind of repeat several things from the main Blu-ray itself. But it's mainly them getting to know introducing you to all the characters and stuff like that I thought that was very interesting oh that was the thing I forgot on the main disc itself you also get the actual author of these book series herself is on here she's actually gorgeous and she actually had a cameo and I noticed that when I was in theaters but I didn't know that was the, the author at the time I thought she was just a uh, extra but she was an extra but she was the author of the books as well so that was kind of cool <laughs> That was kind of cool. And I love the fact that she has input in this movie. She's always in behind the scenes looking at the stuff and stuff like that. Because, yeah, she should be. She wrote the damn series. So that was another plus that I actually enjoyed about the whole thing. And how she actually enjoyed all the character arcs and the development. And from uh, four getting cast and everything. So that was pretty good. Anyway, back to the bonus disc. So, yes, the Beyond the... Initiation, of course, is to look into all the characters of the film from, you know, Triss to Jai Courtney's character, Eric. That's an interesting little watch. The Faction Fashions, of course, is to look at all the costumes, which I actually enjoy all the costumes of the movie. Maybe not all the gray ones. My two favorite costumes are the black ones from, like, Dauntless people and, you know, and, uh the higher ups like with the ones that Kate Winslet wears is like all blue I like the male version of all the, the blue costumes because I actually kind of want to wear the blue costumes and the black costumes out in the streets and people probably looking at me like I'm crazy but since when did I ever give a shit about what people have to say on the streets you know so yeah <laughs> so that was pretty cool and then you have setting the score 
which is the music of the movie. And of course, I love all the music of this movie. It, the music does make a movie, and for Divergent, it all makes sense. When you actually know what each scene and which the music that was chosen for that specific scene is, it actually makes that much more relevant sense. All in all, you got the movie itself, which is 2 hours and 19 minutes, and then you have the extra footage, which is about an hour and 45 minutes, so you got about a good that hour and 45 minutes with the 2 hours and 19 minutes, you got about a 4 hour and 3 to 6 minute Blu-ray. Awesome. I want to give the Divergent Blu-ray an A+. Definitely, this is the way to go if you're in for, if you want more content and more features, you definitely pick up the Target exclusive. It has more hours of content for you. And that's the way I review movies. I review movies, the Blu-rays anyway, by the one I get. And if this is a definitive version because of the extra hours alone, because I'm in for the content specifically besides the packaging, I'm going to get the one with the more hours on it. So this is the one that has basically more hours on it. So yes, that is my review of the Divergent Target Exclusive Blu-ray. Let me know what you guys think about this Blu-ray down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next Blu review, which will be Noah. See ya.